Welcome. It's wonderful to be with you. My name is Katherine McLean, and this is a meditation that I've developed that can help in the process of psychedelic integration. Whether you're practicing by yourself or in a group of people, this process can help you connect with your body, your sensations, your feelings and emotions related to a past experience, whether as a result of ingesting psychedelic substances or any other intense life experience. As we go through this meditation, I'll be asking you to remember a specific experience from your past. We're not looking for the most intense experience you've ever had, so if you can imagine a 9 or 10 out of 10 being the most intense thing you've ever experienced, today we're going for a 3 or 4 out of 10. And remember, if at any point anything feels uncomfortable, it's up to you to follow the instructions or not, and you can just sit quietly until the end of the meditation. So make sure that you've adopted a nice, comfortable, upright posture, whether seated on a meditation cushion or in a chair. And if you're in a chair, make sure that both feet are flat on the ground. You should be able to really feel the ground underneath your feet, the cushion underneath your seat, and your hands can be folded in your lap or resting comfortably on your knees. I would recommend that you close your eyes for this meditation, although if that doesn't feel comfortable for you, you can leave your eyes open We'll begin by taking some deep breaths and feeling the sensations of the breath flowing in and out of your nose. Most of us breathe through our nose, our throat, and our upper chest, but try as best you can to relax the lower part of your abdomen so that the breath can flow unimpeded all the way down into your body and out again. This breathing technique can take some practice, but it's very restorative and relaxing. And over time, you'll notice that your breathing slows down and becomes more steady and even. And at any point in the meditation, if the memories or sensations feel too intense, you can always return to the breath and simply notice the sensations of the air flowing in and out of your nose and in and out of all the parts of your body. So I'd like you to imagine that you are floating on a raft in a vast body of water. moving slowly up and down with the movement of the waves, feeling the security of the raft, the safety of your body, and the waves and the movement are like the breath flowing in and out of your body. You can experience the entire meditation from this position on the raft, staying mostly with the breath and allowing whatever sensations and memories can float to the surface to find you on the raft. And you're also welcome to begin exploring the water that surrounds the raft. This could mean simply dangling a foot over the edge and feeling the water around your leg, or moving your whole body into the water but having one or two arms on the raft for steadiness. And if you're feeling particularly curious and courageous, you can Don some special breathing apparatus and slowly allow yourself to be submerged in the water, floating down to whatever depth feels comfortable for you. Without rushing or any need to explore a particular part of the ocean or to find anything, but simply with curiosity and kindness for yourself and whatever you might find. At any point, if being in the depths of the water feels not quite comfortable for you, you can always return to the raft, return to the breath, get back in touch with your bodily sensations, and then start over. So from whatever position that feels comfortable for you, we're going to bring to mind a memory from your past, a specific experience. 
Make sure it's just one experience that you can remember in relative detail. And we'll start to explore that memory through our body senses. You can think about these as gates or portals to the experience. And as we invite in different senses in our body, we'll do our best to let go of any distracting sounds or thoughts or ideas about what the memory should be and simply experience and receive the memories from our body. So we'll start by inviting in the eyes. What were you seeing in your experience? Although your eyes are physically closed, you can imagine opening your eyes in your mind and allowing any visions and visual information to come back online. It might have been things that you saw in the room around you, visions that were inspired by your imagination. Allowing all of that information to come back through the eyes. Now we'll invite in the ears. What were you hearing in your experience? Allowing all of the sounds and auditory information to come back online. Whether it was music, the sound of people's voices, the sounds of nature. Just receiving and being curious about everything that comes back. Inviting in the skin, what were you touching and feeling in the experience? You might notice that your body remembers feeling like it was a different size, maybe more expanded or more contracted. Being open to all the physical touch sensations that come back, including pleasurable and unpleasurable and even painful sensations. feeling of textures, the air around your body, people around you. Allowing all of that information to come back online. If there are a lot of sensations all at once, you can use the breath to kind of Create a little bit more space so you can, with each in-breath, imagine your body blowing up a little bit like a balloon. And then each out-breath relaxing and allowing that space to open up. And now inviting in the mouth, what were you tasting in your experience? been something that you ate or drank and if it was a particular plant substance that you ingested or smoked you might remember the taste of that taste is not usually a common aspect of our memories the stories that we tell ourselves about our past but in this case we're practicing being curious about all the sensations
biting in the nose? What were you smelling in your experience? Could be fragrant sensations, unpleasant smell sensations. If you were part of a ceremony, it might have involved smoke or herbs being burned. each inhale, you can imagine all those air molecules from the past coming back through your body. Smell is linked to deep memories within the limbic part of our brain. And now that we've opened up all of our sense gates, invited all of that information back. I'd like you to just sit in this space for a few more moments. And if it feels right, you can actually take a step back from your sensations in your body and touch into the energy that is flowing throughout all of your senses, flowing through time and space, connecting your past, your present and your future curious about that energy, which is not restricted to any particular sensation. Finally, I'd like you to bring to mind a person or an entity, a being, maybe even an animal that was connected to your experience. This could be someone or something that was with you in the experience, or it could be someone or something that helped you in the aftermath after your experience was over. In the same way that we welcomed in all of the bodily sensations Bring this person to mind. Really see them, hear them, feel them. Experience their presence and recognize that they were a witness to your experience and that they can help create a bridge from your past to your present. For those of you who took a very deep dive, I'll ask you to start making your way back to the raft in the surface of the water. Taking your time and with each in-breath feeling your lungs filling up with air, becoming more buoyant, slowly bringing you back to the surface. As you slowly make your way back to the surface, you'll feel the greater movement of the waves. And then as your head breaks the surface of the water, you'll hear the sounds in the air and in the room around you. Feeling the difference in temperature of the air, the different smell sensations, the taste, slowly making your way back onto the raft. Taking some exaggerated breaths, feeling the breath sensation in and out of your body. And slowly, when you're ready, opening your eyes and allowing all of the visual information from the room that you're in, the people that you're with, to come back in through your eyelids, through your eyes. Noticing the light in the room and the colors and the form.
And as you begin to reorient to the room and regular reality, recognize that you bring all of your sensations and your memories with you. And now that this particular experience is fresh in both your mind and your body, it's a great chance to share about the experience. If you've been meditating by yourself, you can journal or draw or express your memories in whatever way feels comfortable for you. And if you've been doing this meditation as part of an integration circle or another kind of group process, I encourage you to take this opportunity to share about your experience with others because they have also been on a journey with you. Please remember that these kind of meditations can bring up very intense emotions and memories and even intense dreams when you go to sleep tonight. So be kind with yourself, pay attention to how you're feeling, and make sure to reach out to someone that you trust if you need help. Thank you for your presence and attention.